Being guilty of your own free will. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Were you in the city of Taylor on July 11th of 2024? Yes. And while you were in the city, sir, um, on that day, did you do something that disturbed the peace? Um, yeah. What'd you do? Well, I didn't, I didn't really, I didn't really, um, wave it around like they said. It fell out of my pocket and I put it back in my pocket. All right. So what were, what did they say you were waving around? A BB gun. All right. And that would have been in the area of Telegraph and 94? Yeah. All right. And was that, uh, was there traffic on Telegraph Road at that time? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Gazicki, Mr. Fando, are you satisfied with the factual basis there? Uh, people are satisfied, Your Honor. Defense satisfied, Your Honor. All right. Ms. DeFrank, you have an opportunity to speak at this time if you would like the court to know anything um, prior to sentencing. <clears throat> okay, so I do want to say something. I was born and raised in Taylor for 30 years. Never experienced anything that scary in my life. Did not know it was not a real firearm. I was at the red light under the blue bridge on Telegraph. Um, I had just dropped my two sons off to my mom's. I was on my way to a hair appointment. I'm at the red light. and I'm in the right lane. And I see him walking um, southbound. So I'm going northbound on Telegraph. He's walking southbound. And as he's walking up, I witnessed him pull a black gun from his waist. Nothing fell out. He pulled it out of his waist and he was waving it around. I started just shaking and I immediately called the police. So, and another thing I want to know is he had a very smug look on his face and I was absolutely petrified. And that's just the facts of the case. And I just, you know, I'm, I'm, that's why I'm here today. Um, no or not, I was scared. I mean, beyond scared. Um, so I know for a fact that it did not fall out because I watched it and pull it from the face. So that's all I wanted to say. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Um, the facts of this case, Mr. Hawk. I don't think you understand when you engage in behavior like that, not only do you put other people in fear of their lives and safety, but you put your own life at risk. If police officers would have responded and seen you waving around your gun, which I do believe you did, I don't believe you that it just fell out, um, they'd have shot you. And they would have been right, rightfully so. If they see someone standing on one of the busiest roadways, probably in the state, and they see someone waving around a gun, they're not going to go, oh, excuse me, sir, is that a real or an imitation firearm? They're going to protect themselves and they're going to protect the public. And what's most alarming to me about this case is on 5-9 of 23, which is just over a year ago in the 25th District Court, you had another misdemeanor that you pled guilty for brandishing a firearm in public. And it's appalling to me. It's appalling. You're, this is just absolutely out of control. I don't know if you have a death wish. I don't know what a, a person could possibly possibly be thinking to behave the way you did. I am not following the recommendation. You're doing the, all I can give you is 90 days and you're doing every day of it. You'll get credit for the days that you've already served. But I, I find your conduct to be absolutely alarming, a danger to the community, a danger to you, just completely, it's, it's crazy. And, and I don't know what you're thinking, but 
I don't know what needs to happen for you to learn, but the fact you just did this last year and you just pled guilty to it a year ago is is unbelievable. You'll do every day I can give you, you'll sit. An appeal to circuit court may be taken within 21 days from the date of sentence or is permitted pursuant to MCR 6.625 parent B. If the sentence includes incarceration, which it does, and you wish to file an appeal but are financially unable to retain an attorney, the court will appoint a lawyer to represent you on appeal. If the request for the lawyer is made within 14 days of the date of sentencing. So you have 14 days from today to request a lawyer. But sir, if I could give you more, I would. But I can't. Miss DeFrank, I am so sorry that happened to you. Um, this is just unbelievable. So that's my sentence and we're all set. And and I want to write, officer, can I see that? I want to write on his jail paperwork, no early release. Can I see his paper, his file real quick? He he should serve every single day of that. Good morning, Your Honor. I have David Levin.